Hi everyone, I'm Kara. And I'm Dave. And, and we're, we're with respiratory. respiratory. We're gonna show you today how to do a breathing treatment. The purpose of this video is to teach you the proper way to give a breathing treatment in the event that the respiratory care services is overwhelmed with other patients. So first, you're gonna need an order. A patient's name, MRN, date of birth. Here we have a Duonev Q6 order. Get your med from the center. Next, you'll wanna gather your equipment. At Memorial Medical Center, we prefer to use the breath actuated nebulizer, but both varieties are available in your stock. And don't forget to get a setup bag. This is where you're gonna keep the nebulizer after the treatment. This ensures keeping it clean. Mouthpiece treatments are the preferred method, but a mask is available as well. So now that you have your order, medication, and equipment, it's time to go meet your patient. Verify you have the correct patient by looking at their wristband and verifying their name and date of birth. Before giving the treatment, you want to scan the patient's wristband and the medication. Beep. Your nebulizer comes with minimal assembly required. Just remove it from the package, open the connective tubing, connect the tubing to the nebulizer, and connect this end to the flow meter, like so. For our elderly population and those with COPD, air is the preferred delivery gas, not oxygen. Some medications come in a concentrated form, such as 2.5 milligrams albuterol. Make sure in this case you dilute it with 3 mLs normal saline in the pink bullet. For Duonab packages, no dilution is required. Prior to the breathing treatment, you want to get a set of vital signs that include oxygen saturation, heart rate, respirations, and lung sounds. Set your flow meter at around 5 liters per minute. Make sure to turn the nebulizer on. You'll see the medication come out in a mist form. While the patient gets the treatment, you want to monitor them closely. If their heart rate um, increases by 20 at any point in time, you want to stop the treatment. Or if the patient begins to feel jittery or anxious, discontinue as well. After approximately five minutes of the patient getting the treatment, you want to go ahead and stop the treatment and get another set of vitals. And last but not least, you'll want to make sure you do all your documentation in the flow sheets. And don't forget to place your nebulizer and the equipment bag. And that's the basics on giving a breathing treatment. And don't forget, if you need any help, don't be afraid to call your respiratory therapist. Bye. Bye.